when we created our website, we afterwards started hosting it with Webflow. Importantly, because also we want to make use of Webflow's CMS feature, which allows us to regularly update our blog, publish new blog posts, and also change the content here on this website. However, you might say, I want to create my website once. It's going to be a few static pages. I do not need the CMS feature and I do not need to update my website anymore once I created it. And for that, paying 15 to 20 US dollars a month is kind of expensive in order to host that website. So let me show you how you can host your website for free after you created it with Webflow. And in order to do that, what you need is you need a different account plan. So in Webflow offers you different account plans. So we started off with this free account plan, which allows you to create two websites. And if you don't do not pay for hosting, these two websites can only have two pages. So what you can do if you want to have more pages on your website, you can either upgrade the hosting or what you can do is you upgrade your account plan. Now this account plan costs 24 US dollars a month. This is the one I'm using. It allows me to upgrade to 10 projects to create 10 websites at the same time. And importantly, it allows me to export the code and on every website can have to up to 100 pages. So what we can do is we can create our website once using Webflow, pay for this light plan for one month. Ex once you are happy with your website, export all the code and then you can cancel your account plan afterwards. So in the end, you pay 24 US dollars for your website. And in order to host your website, instead of using Webflow, we use a different service called Netlify. Now Netlify is a super powerful web hosting service, which is used by some of the biggest internet companies out there. It's extremely easy to use and they have a free account plan. So if you get started with the startup plan, it gives you up to 100 gigabyte of bandwidth a month, which should be more than enough for most website needs. So in order to be able to use Netlify, let's go back to the designer. And here I created a copy of our original website and I deleted every reference to the CMS. So this whole blog section is gone. I deleted this blog section here in the navigation bar and I deleted that blog section from the pages. And importantly, I removed every CMS item and deleted all the CMS collections. Now this won't work if we export our page with Webflow. Then there is one more change which we need to do to our code, which is extremely important if you make use of forms, like a contact form, for example. So we have this contact page which, which has a contact form. If you have a form and users enter some content into it, this form content will be sent to some server. Now, if you host our website with, Net, uh, with Webflow, this content will be sent to Webflow server. However, since we are not hosting it with Webflow anymore, we need to send it to a different server. And Netlify can handle these forms for us. So in order to enable that on this form, what we need to do is we go to select the form, make sure you select the form itself, you can, and then uh, go to the element settings, the form settings. And here we have some form settings which you need to adjust. So first of all, I'm going to change the method to post and then, then I am going to change the action to slash hashtag and in the custom attributes below, what you need to do is hit the plus sign as a name attribute name, you enter data Netlify and value you set to true. So again, set the action to slash hashtag method to post. It was get before, so set it to post and then custom attributes data minus Netlify equals true. So these are the settings which we need to do. Now we have one more form on this page, the get guide form. However, we hooked that form up to 
Mailchimp already. So this is not sending any anything anyways to to Webflow. So there is no need, as you can see, this action and is already connected to Mailchimp and this method is post to Mailchimp. So there's no need to change anything here. This can stay this is, as it is. So let me go back to the home page and now let's hit export. Let's export this whole code. So in order to export code, I'm going to select this export code feature here at the top and let Webflow load its code. And then all we need to do is prepare zip file and download that file. And then let's swap over to Netlify. On the Netlify page, all we have to do is click login or you need to create your account if you don't have one yet with sign up. So I have an account, so I'm going to hit login. And that is going to bring me to the Netlify console. And I have a few websites hosted with Netlify, so they are displayed here already. And if I want to add a new website, it's pretty simple. All I do is I take the downloaded code folder, which we just downloaded, and I drag and drop it into this section here. And there we go. Now this uploaded our page. Let me change some domain settings. So here Netlify gave us this custom domain right now. I can edit that. Let's see if Surf and Trade is still available. So, and now we can find this website under surfandtrade.netlify.app. There we go. That's all that's required in order to host it with Netlify. Let me test the contact form. So, I am going to enter. And let's see if also the verification I perfect is testing if I entered a correct email address. And let's see if we can submit that form. Perfect. Our form submission has worked with Netlify as well. And you can find your submission up here in forms. And that's our form. And Currently, that's a spam submission because I entered some dummy values, but you can find that either in spam or verified submissions here. Now, if you later on want to change some stuff in Webflow and want to redeploy your website, you can go to deploys and just upload that folder here again. And Netlify is going to handle the hosting for you and update your website. One last thing is if you go back to overview and domain settings, now, if you have a custom domain, you can edit here, custom domain. Let me try this. And what you then need to do is you check DNS configuration and you enter this stuff into into your name cheap or whatever you host your account. And it's exactly the same like we did with Webflow early on in the Webflow hosting video. So especially here for surfandtrade.com, it's important. You need to choose that second option as mostly, it's very more likely that name your domain register will provide the second option. So for example, with name cheap, you choose domain um, register type a and then add an add for host and then copy over this IP address, just like we did with Webflow. So that's how you can host your website for free using Netlify and pay a minimal amount to Webflow in order to design your website.